Hey guys, it's Ruben, the math person, and today I'll be going over question 276 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you did, let's just dive right in. A certain town experiences an average of five tornadoes in any four year period. So five tornadoes for every four years. Or this is approximately equal to they experience one tornado every four over five years or tornadoes, one tornado every 0.8 years. Okay, the number of years from now until the town experiences next tornado, as well as the number of years between tornadoes have identical exponential distribution, and all such the times are mutually independent. Calculate the median number of years from now until the town experiences next tornado. So then we, we know by median definition, it is just equal to zero to median of this equation where this is our mean because this is the average so the, on average they have one tornado every 0.8 years and we're looking at years and that's one of the reason why we solved for and because they're asking okay un, how many years from now until the next tornado right and that's one of the reason why we solved it for a tornado instead of the years is because we're looking for the number of tornadoes alrighty alrighty so this is equal to like 1 over 0.8 e to the negative t over 0.8 dt but we know that the cdf of a exponential function is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative m over 0.8 and this should equal half one half so we're just solving for m right now i'm going to bring that e over to the side and half over here so that's equal to half e to the negative m over 0.8 take the natural log of both sides and um, multiply this side by negative 0.8 to cancel out. You know, negative 0.8, natural log of 1 half, which is equal to 0.55, which is our answer A. So basically this question is asking how many years does it um, calculate the median number of years until the next tornado. So on average, it takes about 0.55 years until the next tornado, which kind of makes sense because they experience one tornado in about 0.8 years. So, yeah. And then it's exponentially distributed, so it's more likely to happen at the beginning. If you guys thought this was helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And as always, leave those comments down below. Bye!